Hey everybody, this video is about OBS and um, how you can broadcast uh, yourself onto like Facebook Live using the OBS. Um, a lot of people already know this, but you can hook up a couple more webcams, capture devices, and have them all feed into one uh, source. And then um, in this case, it's going to be going to Facebook Live. So I'm going to show you how to do that. <clears throat> you could use this in any situation. You could use it with a grand board like I am where you can play people online, you could do steel tips, um, you could do anything really. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. Thanks. Okay everybody, let's get started with the hardware that you need to get this going. Uh, the first one is a capture device or a way to send the grand board app to your computer. Now if you have a steel tip board you, you obviously wouldn't worry about this part, you would skip this. Um, there's many different ways to get what's on the screen to the computer um, so you could record it. You could do it through Wi-Fi if you wanted to um, but I'm using a capture device. So normally my phone is hooked up with an HDMI cord and comes out of the phone and then usually straight to the TV. So basically the capture device is this and um, people that play Xbox and PlayStation they use this to record what's on their screen and then upload it to YouTube or even do Facebook Live. So this guy right here the HDMI comes out of the dongle into here and then back up to the TV and then the USB to the to the computer. Very simple you just plug it in and install the software and then um, I'll show you on the software side it, it just picks it up so that's one thing okay so obviously this part's optional you wouldn't have to do this if you didn't want to the other part which would you wouldn't want to do is a camera and I had a camera sitting on a tripod aiming at the board here let me back up a little bit and it was getting in the way so I mounted the uh, camera on this uh, stick basically made this little bracket just screwed it into the woodwork which I can patch that up very easily so that is right there and that's a Logitech C920 which is just zip tied up there so I'm, it's above my head so I don't have to worry about hitting it okay and then I have another Logitech C920 nice thing about the 920s is they have a mounting bracket on the bottom so you can put them on a tripod. So this was a tripod I had aiming at the uh, at the board. Okay, and then obviously that all plugs in to a computer. Okay, so down here I have a hub for the camera and the capture device. Hub needs power obviously. And then they all go back to the computer. So now Let's get into the software and I'll show you what you got to do on the software, which is very, very easy. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how to set up this layout um, so you can uh, do live videos if you want. Um, it's very easy. When you first open up the OBS software, it's free, and you're going to have a blank canvas like this. Okay? So the first thing you have to do is you have to add all your sources. Okay, so I'll show you the first one from scratch. So I click the add, call it what you want. We're going to say app, so it's going to be coming from the capture card. Automatically picks up our um, integrated webcam, so we're just going to switch it. And here's all my input devices. So the capture device, and we'll just give that a second because it's now connecting to that and I notice uh, since I already have these uh, devices added in a different profile it gives me a hard time so I'm only going to do one to speed things up custom for the size I'm going to switch that to I don't know, say 1080 and then um, buffering I'm going to leave for auto detect frame rate I just match the 30 on this one there we go then what we do is we just shrink it. So you just click on the red outline, shrink it down. 
There you go. So there's one. Now, if you ever need to edit the size of it or anything on it, you would just double click on the, the app down there, the name of it, and then it brings you right back into the settings so you could maybe change the buffering if you want. So now we're going to do add capture device, and we're going to do one we already have built in. So we're going to do dartboard. There's my dartboard. Now, obviously, it's sideways because the camera's sideways. So I'm going to rotate it. So I just right click on the video feed, transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Okay. And see how the uh, it's overlapping the other one? Not a big deal. I'll show you that in a minute. Plus, add video capture device. And then this one's going to be our throw line. All right. So let's shrink the throw line down. Like so. Now, if you reorder them, then you can put them behind and in front and stuff like that. So the dartboard needs to go down. So the other two lay over it. And then we'll just shrink these down. So they kind of butt up against each other here. And then this one you can just kind of move around. You make it bigger or smaller, whatever you got to do. I mean, you can, you can make it small so you could see it like this if you wanted to. But in our case, we want it big so it takes up as much room as possible. Uh, how's that look? That look good? Okay. Now you can add font if you want to add font to it. Um, so we add, and there's text. Click OK. Type in whatever you want. You can select your colors, borders, like an outline. So we got test up there. Oops. And you can put it wherever you want. And you can make it bigger. Okay. All right, then if you want to do audio, say from a say Bluetooth headset or one of the cameras, easiest way I found is to add input capture, audio input capture, uh, click OK, select the device. So if you had a Bluetooth headset, you could select that. Otherwise, you could do the audio from one of the cameras. But more than likely, you have to go to the camera and talk right into it for them to hear you. And now you have audio. We see it down in our list. There it is. Now, by default, I don't know how it does this, but the game capture card actually picks up audio coming from the phone and goes straight in. I don't have to configure anything. The cameras, on the other hand, do not. So I don't get any audio from the cameras unless I do that audio input capture um, as, a, as another source. Keep on. I just want to highlight it and remove it. There we go. Okay, so it's ready to broadcast basically. So we go to our Facebook page, click on live video, select connect, copy this. You could share it on a page. I think a key changed actually, so let's make sure to copy that. So it's going to share on that page. Go back to our OBS software. We're going to click on settings, so we don't want to click on start streaming just yet. General, this is what I got for general. Stream, basically make sure it's just Facebook for if you're going to stream Facebook. Add my key in. Apply it. My output, Ah, you can do whatever you want. 4,000 is, I think, like the default. Okay, you can put a check in force streaming service. So watch this. So this is the way it is by default. So if I change this, it tells you down here that you have to take a check mark out if you want to do anything above 4,000. 
Okay. I've done 4,000 plenty of times, and it's uh, fine. Okay. So, click Apply. Here's your audio. I didn't change anything in there. Video. I might have changed it to 1080. I don't know. Hotkeys. So, if you want to change settings while the OBS software is running, you can. And then Advance. Uh, might have put in the process priority um, up to high. I can't remember. But that's about it. And you click OK. Click Start Streaming. There it goes. And then we'll go back to our Facebook page. And the camera should start popping up here with our video feed. Pretty simple so far, right? And there it is. There's our video feed. And when we click go live, we're going live. Now, quality might look better on someone else's device. I don't know why it looks so blurry here. I've noticed that too, but when I look at it, after it's done broadcasting and you know how you get that recording feed on Facebook, always looks way better. So, if you have steel tips, you could do one at the dartboard, one at your scoreboard, and then one at your uh, throw line. So, you could broadcast a, a match, you know, online with steel tips if you want to, or you can just do two cameras. So you don't even need to import what you see on your, um, your phone screen. So if you really wanted to, you could do one at the um, dartboard, but then have it the tablet or the phone screen like in the corner so you can actually see it. Um, and then one at the throw line. So you, you can kind of change up whatever you want to do. Um, that's basically how you set it up, though. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, hit me up. I'll do my best to, to help you out. Um, I'm no pro at this, that's for sure. I mean, I just started playing with this a few days ago um, and you might not need the capture card you might be able to stream you know what's on your tablet straight to the laptop and then you know import it into the OBS I, I don't know there might be other ways of doing it um, but this is uh, pretty basic and that's it so if you have any questions like I said hit me up I'll, I'll do my best to help you out or if you learned something really cool let me know um, or if I'm not using this program right, again, let me know. I mean, that uh, the comments below uh, only helps other people, you know. Um, so I'll just do it for fun. All right, guys, take care. Have a good night.